it's fine. I've played how many games now and he's only allowed to talk? Ever. Oceanus' nest. This is where we should wait then. Yep. Well, we're gonna fight it once it shows up. I like how everyone has a Picard now and it's great. It's the Picard squad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh no. What if the Pickards are the pilots of the meat mix? Gogi, they should be at the nest by now, wouldn't you say? That's a terrifying thought. No, no, no. They should be there already. The, the mex, the meat mex, not not Pickard theory. Well, the, 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 the problem OPI here is that they're on the outside. So you, you, you could call, you could call them you could call them late generation Zoids. True. You guys ready? Yeah. Like typical Mexi pilot from the inside, so that's that would be gruesome if it was uh if that was the case. You got Pickard on the brain? Yeah. No, it's, I am it's, the Pickard. It's like the uh Men in Black spoiler. Everyone It's like that the alien that was like a me like piloting the mech human. Mm -hmm. Men in black. Also, like, half those people wouldn't be able to draw those bows. You don't know what being stranded on a deserted island does to you. I mean, yeah, they'd be stronger, but, like... Also, they they probably have plenty of experience with this, with all, what with all the raids they have participated in. True. Those bows are massive. And the, and, and the ones that are less likely to be able to hold the bow are manning the catapults, so... No. A war cry. I just don't think the priestess would be able to, at least. And Kathy totally wouldn't be able to. Like, come on. Where's my realism? He's a sailor. Gotta have some kind of arms. The worst sailor this this world has ever seen. But you have heard of him. Unfortunately so. You guys just keep the pressure on the Okeanos. Doki's gonna punch the dinosaurs. I'll handle these guys. See, this is realism. Is more my style yeah. anyway. There's a dinosaur wall. Let's go punch it, Doki. Yeah, it's, it, listen, they formed a wall of dinosaurs, and that was their first mistake. That they may not be a second mistake. They, they may not be allowed to make a second mistake. <laughs> See? He even knows what he does. Yeah. Oh, so that one looks neat. Again, this is totally just a Monster Hunter game in disguise. I'll get you guys. Ah. <laughs> it just disappeared. It must be submerging to retreat back to its nest. So far, so good. The rest is up to you, Pepper. Hey, look! Huh? We're surrounded! Guess they're gonna make us work for it. We gotta defeat these primordials. Weapons ready, everyone. We're gonna get it now. Hey, squid friend. Look, it's just a pineapple. No need to yell at it.
Nice. Anyway, so in addition to playing all of those uh, all right, bring it on. Infinite Fusion runs, uh, yeah. I've, been pl I've been on a Metroidvania kick this, this past recent amount of time. Yeah. So I have played through... Um, Vernal Edge. There we go. I was trying to remember, remember the name of it. Um, oh, yeah. I remember you talking about that one. Yep. So I went and played it. It was fine. Um, the premise is like... Your dad's doing some stuff and you're going to go kill him because he's doing some really evil stuff. Oh, he's evil. He's, yeah. Shame. Uh, um, and uh, the gameplay is... Uh, I'd say they put the most effort into the combat system. That's like pretty good. Uh, but like, it's got okay movement. Um, the exploration's interesting. Um, it's a bunch of it's not a real Metroidvania, unfortunately. Yeah, you got to get down there now. Um, this is where the train is. Where you just delete the things. Almost. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, where it's a bunch of smaller metro, uh, like a bunch of smaller maps, and you traverse them. Uh, like you get between them with an airship, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, it's like. And Metroidvania maps are supposed to be interconnected. So there's no fast travel. It's like. Eh. But the combat was good. Everything we've got! Uh, I'd say that game overall is fine. And then after that, I played Islets. Wait, what's that? Islets. Islets? Okay. Islets. Yep. And that one is a game about exploring a bunch of small floating islands with an airship. Ooh. Which is exactly the same as Bernal Edge, except... Part of exploring the islands is finding the, the mechanisms in them to make them right. magnetically connect to each other, to stitch hmm. them, literally stitch them together, and the and then you can literally see the like the, like their maps stitched together when you do it. It's like, oh, that's good. So it did it did it much better, even if the combat is a little bit simpler. Right. And that's your goal. Your goal is to reunite all of the islands. To the, the like the, like the really good island they just describe it as like it's really good I don't know uh, you, gotta make, you gotta make the Pangea it's going down now so um so there's that right and um yeah like I said combat's a bit simpler but like movement felt better just because it was done better like it wasn't as complex but it just felt right. like it was done better um, and also, boss fights are a, a little bit, um, a little bit bullet, a, li a little bit of bullet hell sprinkled in. Gotcha. Like, bo bosses have a lot of projectiles. Hey, or lighter got bosses flamestone. Do. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, there's actually uh, three or four, I think four boss fights that you do in your airship that are actually just bullet hell fights. Oh, poor airship. So it's really cool. Yeah, I, I really like it. So many repairs. And we'll get to future stuff after this cutscene. Did we actually win? And the second one comes in. Purged of a powerful foe. The Okeanus is no more. Finally. Mission complete. Oh. Yeah! We did it! Did you see us, Captain Barbaros? Did you see how we fought for you? We did, Hal. After all this time, we can finally... Don't think about it. Don't cry. Don't think about it. it. 
Do not but think how about is she crying, crying underwater. underwater? <laughs> I just said don't. I had to. I have to ask because I need to know. You, you will not get answers. No. What's wrong? During the Battle of the Castaways, managed to fight off a horde of vicious primordials. Upon learning of Adol's success, their cheers echoed into the sunny sky. With this, nothing could stop them from leaving the island. They could depart as soon as the ship was ready. Thanatos and Sahan suggested throwing a party to celebrate their impending escape. Energized by their victory over the village's arch enemy, the castaways celebration rang throughout the night. And then... And then everyone died. Licked the lich has captured all of the souls. Licked. <laughs> Licked. Oh man, I haven't felt this excited in a while. Looks like everyone else feels the same way. Everyone did a great job. Damn right, we castaways have more than earned this victory. I tell ya, it doesn't get much better than this. Say, where'd Sahad wander off to? I haven't seen him in a while. I think Sahad's already drank himself to sleep. Yeah, he better take it easy tonight. We still got another two weeks before the ship is finished being built. Yeah, we need to make sure we found every last castaway. We also need to prep food and water for the ship just in case the worst happens. Come to think of it, there's actually a lot of work for us to, left to do. I'd like to explore more of the island. Because of course, I'm an adventurer, that's what I do. I don't exactly how you feel. It won't be long before we're bidding fond farewells to our li uh, lives as castaways. I must admit, I think I'm actually going to miss living like this. They'd rather stay here? It's not a wholly terrible idea. Finished eating, father. Ah, uh, Ricotta. I couldn't possibly eat another mite. <laughs> you want more? Let me know. I'll make all of your favorites. Uh, what's up, Donna? Are you okay, Adol? Have you had enough to drink? I have, thank you. Yes. I have you now. Everyone's heading to bed. You should you you all should get some rest too. Let's go, Donna. Ah uh, yes. It's time to go. Wouldn't mind staying here longer, but I've decided long ago that I'd leave this island. I want Ricotta to see the world. I don't know how else to put this, but that daughter of mine has a lot of potential. I hear ya. Hey, Adol. What are you planning to do about Donna? Even if we escape this island, she's, well, wondering about that myself. She hasn't fully regained her memories yet. Wouldn't she regret leaving? I was thinking about that, too. Man. You should really discuss it with her rather uh, sooner rather than later. He's right, Adol. You should talk to her alone. And maybe. Uh, on second thought. Just listen to what she has to say. Either way, we can't get too relaxed just yet. We still got plenty of work left to do tomorrow. Yeah. Play quests. Oh. Yeah. 
you're definitely extra not allowed. Darn. I see. All right. Extra not allowed to teleport. But what about my nighttime raids? How else am I supposed to do them now? Pick another nighttime. <laughs> not this one. <laughs> not this one. Beautiful night. <laughs> yes, it really is. Um, congratulations. You can finally leave this island. I'm happy for you. Listen. I'll help you regain your memories. Was over dead. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. What have you done? I mean, Sahad is just Luigi. What do you mean? Oh, he doesn't have he doesn't have Luigi shoes. He's, he's not Luigi. You saw him just now. Oh, yeah. I. You've played the first two we just mentioned on the channel? I've played one and three, not two. Mm. It's like you drink too difficult. much. Right, because it's uh, DS, right? Uh, it's, it's specifically, it's 3DS, which yeah. means my options are limited in how I can record straight from that. <sighs> right. And emulation for it is apparently still not good. Dang. Uh, yeah, not the 3DS in general, but that game. What a nice breeze! It reminds me of the wing uh, of the winds on Crete. Oh, he's dead. Just wait, I'll get back to you. That's uh, coming home soon. Don't forget. Yep. <laughs> to sleep now. We shouldn't leave him here. Let's drag him back to the lodge. There ain't no way we're gonna pick him up. Idol didn't have the chance to talk to Dan alone after that, but in the Oceanist warned him out, both mentally and physically, and he fell asleep as soon as he laid down. The Fated Day. It happened again. The sun's light. What is it? Something inside the sun? Hate when that happens. Hate when the sun just goes, eh. I'm just gonna turn it off. Maybe, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe later, right? Smited. That was the scarlet vision. Something will plummet here. A 
this star? The star will fall from the heavens? Meteor. Is that star what forms that giant chasm? Hello? Is anyone here? Somebody Everyone's dead. Alert High Priestess Olga! They're all a figment of your imagination. I must return to the palace. I must speak to Queen Sarai. Are you certain of this? Forgive me. To think that such a disaster awaits us. Between the dreams I've been experiencing and my scarlet vision, there is no doubt in my mind. The kingdom of Eternia will be devastated by a falling star in the near future. I, Donna Lucia, made into the great tree, I'm reporting this as a formal prophetic vision. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. There is no time to waste. We must act now. What do you intend to do? The crystal pillar at the center of Agaius provides essence to the entire kingdom. Perhaps we can use that somehow. Yes, of course. We could use... Uh, use they forgot the, a word. They, could, they, they a word. We... we, we um, yes, giant essence they, they barrier. Are. It's fine. Are you mad? The crystal pillar is the lifeblood of attorney. Use that in that manner, the entire kingdom will be drained of essence. And how do you think the neighboring nations will react once they learn of this? Perhaps you're right, Olga. I don't know what's going to happen. But we can't just do nothing and wait for the inevitable. Very well, then. I will begin preparations to create a barrier in the sky above the kingdom. All essence maesters throughout the kingdom will be assembled here for an emergency meeting. Queen Sarai. Oh, why do they keep having Doesn't to add letters and make fake things? Fire, Olga? The no, maesters is not. To the to is that not? Any hardship. This time will it's be just no like an old thing. English thing. More importantly, Donna maesters are scholars and healers who have completed their training at. We must that's, take decisive correct. action. That's a, uh, sorry, that immediately pulled up a, uh, As you wish. Song of Ice and Fire Wiki and not, like, the actual word. Oh. <laughs> so Game of Thrones, I see. Yeah, pulled up a Game of Thrones. Uh, uh, give me the actual... We must coordinate our efforts with the Temple of the Great Tree Give me the definition, well. please. Evacuating civilians is top priority. Well, speaking about words Do and spellings and stuff, apparently AX okay. is now the correct spe uh, spelling for Axe. That's not... Did you see that? Did you know? No, but yeah. So I, I was I was writing the other day in Google Docs and I typed A X E because you know an X, um, and it highlighted as red. So I clicked on it and I was like, "What's wrong with this?" And it says, "Did you mean A X?" And I'm like, "No." So I looked it up, and if you Google it, if you type in A X, it's like X. Alternatively spelled A X E is a cutting implement with one blade that is used to usually chop lumber. And I'm like, Ugh. that, that's not right. <clears throat> and so I think someone who decided they had too much time on their hands said that it's not aches, it's axe. So clearly there's no E there. Yeah, let's, let's just get rid of it. And I'm like, <sighs> okay. It, hurt my, it, hurt, it hurts my head to see AX and just think that's supposed to be axe. Yeah, nope. That's no, no good. Anyway, I, I, I did a little bit of actual research. Yeah. And uh, it, so the, the word maester is, seems to be derived from the old English word maester with the A-E symbol. Yeah. The combined A-E symbol. And both of those, uh, both that and master can be traced to the Latin magister, a gotcha. master or teacher. Okay. Makes sense. I figured if it was actually real, it had to be an old English thing. Okay. Latin for in this case, but yes, yeah, old old language stuff. Old language is always fun to look up. Yeah, I like it. I like etymology stuff like that. So when you so were like, what's this? Apparently, right. like on it. old like old Norse and old English, you could you could use them to speak to each other, apparently, mm. and they they would be like decipherable on either side. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to like translate. It would just be a little odd, like sense grammatical structure but that you could you could speak using old norse and old english mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with two separate people 
it's, it's kind of fun to know that. Um, anyway, despite their foreknowledge of this impending cataclysm, many areas began panicking. Of course. You're not supposed to tell the, the, the plebeians that there's going to be a fucking, like, a national disaster. You just plan secretly. And then when it happens, yeah. then you let them panic. Yeah. Even so. It's fine. <clears throat> Thanks to Queen Sarai's political prowess, the preparations went off without a hitch. Somehow. Uh, before long, the Essence Maesters had been assembled, and they began practicing to erect a barrier that would enclose all of Eternia. But they had little time to practice, and anxious dread began to permeate Eternia as the meteor loomed over, uh, loomed ever larger over the nation. Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of old yep. Norse, there was um, so there was like a Norse like poem that people like turned into a song. It's like my mother told me someday I would buy a Galaxy the Goers or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. uh, like a singer, tr like did the song, but in old Norse. Oh, That's great! Cool. And so it begins. That's always fun to see. Yeah. Commence barrier deployment. Yes, Your Majesty. Alert the Essence Maesters at each pillar to begin deploying the barrier. You, deploy the barrier. Turns around, you, deploy the barrier. <laughs> he goes all the way down the chain of people. <laughs> <laughs> perfectly timed. Also, it's perfectly aimed at the, at the, uh, at the castle. Yep. Don't worry about that. Also, now I have a problem. Did it work? Yeah. I cannot say for certain. Do you know what the problem is? Um. No. It's called the bootstrap paradox. What's wrong, Donna? There's oh yeah. More than one. There's more than one. Okay. They maybe I don't it. have. Maybe <laughs> I don't have a problem. <laughs> they fixed it. <laughs> Do you know what the bootstrap paradox is? Yes. Okay. What? It's but, not here. For, for those who don't know what the bootstrap paradox is, basically, um, it's it's a paradox in which uh, no one knows what actually created or or did something because basically. A pretty yes, a pretty famous example of this is in one of the Time Splitters games. Yeah. Where there's a level where you get a key from a future version of yourself. And you can lock the door, and then pass it along to your past self later, so they can where, lock the door. Where did, where did the key come from? Yep. Originally. Dada, where are you yep. going? Yeah. I'm going to help maintain the barrier to keep it standing for as long as possible. I um, there was a Doctor Who episode in which the paradox was explained. Let's make haste to the um, aerial corridor. Pretty decently, where it's like okay. you're a fan of Beethoven, Please so. You get all of his works, well. and you time travel back to Beethoven's era so that you can get them like signed or whatever. And then he's like, "Oh, sweet." And the, well, yeah. And then he's like, "You, you don't know where Beethoven is. No one's heard of him. He, there's no one creating music by the name of Beethoven." Sir. And so you, a huge fan, is like, "The world can't exist without Beethoven." And so you oh, become one Beethoven. Of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was a movie with a similar premise. Yeah. Um, but it, paradoxes are fun to think about. Yeah. Some of them, anyway. The other ones are just strange. My favorite paradox. Slitherwing. I don't know that the one offhand. Oh, okay. Um. Well, uh, you, you may have heard of, uh, Fluttermane's a pretty good one, too. No. So I, maybe Where I just. Did it come from? Are they known by other names or? Um, uh, Iron Bundles a pretty funny one. Ah uh, yes. I can't see or hear anything. <laughs> What's going on? Sorry, I had to. I had to switch to one of the future ones to like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you like this bridge? I like this bridge. I like. I like this fog bridge. 